Welcome to another edition of SOJ Ludo Television. And this week, I have another topic from my thoughts to share with you. The topic is from bricklayer to the sea suit. From bricklayer to the sea suit. This is a true story. My story, by the way. My story. Now, while there is dignity in all labor, and I truly love all people, regardless of their job, their social status, their nationality, ethnicity, religious beliefs, political affiliations, or color of their skin, in my part of the world, Nigeria to be precise, bricklaying, a form of masonry, is generally a low-earning job relative to the effort put in. In 1985, in my third year as an undergraduate in university, I worked as a bricklayer for a holiday job earning 25 naira per week. Yes, 25 naira per week. I was earning about 100 naira in a month. That was equivalent of $58.82 at that time. Graduate pay at that time was about four or five times that amount. It was really low earning. This sharing is inspired actually by a spur of the moment revelation when I hosted Demola Adedoe, an actor, model, communications consultant, and entrepreneur on one of my weekly programs, an hour with Ulu Soji or Yawoye. This was on uh, Friday, August 21, 2020. Here's a clip from that edition about my time as a bricklayer. Let's watch it. Uh, something you said about your dad, and I think it's a good time for me to also chip in. Most people, very few people are also are aware. Uh, the, uh, Demola's dad is my uncle, so Demola is, is like my cousin. And I remember at University of Valori, in my third year at University of Valori, I needed a holiday job. And your dad sent me to the MD of then uh, Global Soap Factory for a holiday job. This is a third year economics graduate. My father <laughs> would drop me in that is those old days, 200 Mercedes Benz. And I didn't know the instruction your father had given the MD was for me to be deployed to the laborers who were building a factory warehouse. Believe me, it was so amusing to me <laughs> when I reported... I'm sure not amusing at the time because it no, must it, have been thinking... I, honestly, it was amusing. I, I'm that kind of person. And I got there and the supervisor was like... Uh, he looked at me because I was dressed for office. And he said, oh, God, this, you can't use this kind of clothes to do, do this work. Mm. So they found me some T-shirts to wear, more or less. Mm -hmm. And I, I mixed concrete. I carried him mm. pound. Yeah. And I it got back it. home. I didn't tell my dad, especially my mom, because they would have been very upset. That also <laughs> was amusing, because for me, I knew it was a holiday job. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm not here. You didn't know you were going for hard labor. <laughs> I didn't know. At least in those days, holidays, <laughs> summer holidays were three months. So yeah. I did that for two weeks. After the first week, I told my dad not to bother to drop me, that I'll find my way. And what mm. I began to do, Demola, I began to join the lorries that carried laborers in the lorry. I was a third year economics graduate. I'm telling you, by the week three, the MD called me to his office and he deployed me to the store as assistant storekeeper. I didn't know your dad was testing me. When I finished my university, he loves graduated, testing. He likes testing. the bank had started and he just gave me a letter of employment that I didn't apply for. That was the beginning of my 19 years joining the banking industry. There's another lesson in there. Absolutely. Is that no one takes you seriously until you do some shit on your Absolutely. own. Absolutely. Many people are not aware <laughs> of this story. And I can't yeah. forget him for that. It was a test all the while, and it helped me, and it shaped me. So there's no yeah. work or job that I can't do now. Now, back to you, you are the guest, not me. <laughs> I just like the fact <laughs> that I sent you to go and do the kind of yeah, work. Yeah, but I, I enjoyed that gist. I, I wanted that gist. <laughs> what I regret most about that time in my life is that I didn't take photographs on the job. As I have reflected through the years since then, I may have missed my path in life if I had rejected that seemingly menial job as a laborer. 
a job I really didn't need to do as my bills were all paid by my parents as an undergraduate still living at home at that time. Looking back now, with all I know now, most as a life coach, I can say conclusively that certain factors I would share with you here led me to respond the way I did to that situation. And those same factors have stayed with me. As I have actually been at crossroads several times where I'm also required to make a choice. And looking back now, the way I responded to those, to, to, to those other situations as well, I've been consistently influenced by what I'll be sharing with you today. Now, here are some lessons from my experience from bricklayer to seasuit. Do you know that there are three ways that people react to situations that we all find ourselves in? Yes, three basic ways. We either will be non-active or will be active or will be proactive and positive. Now, I do not assume that everybody would respond well to the situations we find ourselves in for the following reasons. You see, we are all products of three different things. Hereditary, our environment, and the role models we have exposed ourselves to all of our lives. These three factors play heavily on our capacity to adapt to adverse situations. Looking back now, my own life and my own path, I have been blessed to have all three relatively good. Whatever your own situation is, however, if and when you desire change, please just work on your environment and the role models that you have submitted yourself to. And you will move up and forward positively if you can just change those to your role models and your environment. You see, environmental factors and role models can be changed. Hereditary though, whether it's good, bad or ugly, it is what it is. It is what it is. My further advice is as follows when confronted with an adverse or unpleasant situation. One, acknowledge the situation and don't be in denial. Just acknowledge it, don't be in denial. Two, acknowledge that change is part of life. Three, accept your emotions, whether it is fear, loneliness, pain, sadness, anger, shame, uncertainty, or whatever those emotions are. Acknowledge them and accept them. Then next, you reframe the situation to see the positive. How you see a thing is how you will respond to it. Perspective matters. Always. Always. Then, act. Do something with the positive reframing of the situation that you have done. Act. Action is required because our decision, not our conditions, actually determine our path in life. It is not what happens to us that matter. It is how we respond to what happens to us. That is the 90-10 principle, by the way. The 90-10 principle was popularized by Stephen Covey, that amazing author of Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. You should read that book. If you haven't read it, it's such an awesome book. And it says simply that 10% of life is made up of what happens to you. And 90% of life is dependent on how you react to that 10%. So it's not what happens to us that matters. So it's not my being confronted with a bricklaying job, right? For a holiday job, a, th a third year undergraduate student, university undergraduate student. It is how I choose to react to that incident. That is how life itself is structured. My experience as shared is proof that attitude determines everything. Attitude is everything. Our attitude actually informs our altitude. And that's how you move from bricklayer or some low earning job, or whatever your current status is, to the sea suits. It's possible. Just follow those lessons that I've shared. And if you're still struggling, please get a coach got a life coach. Part of what moved me from those uh, uh, brief moments of uh, bricklaying jobs to the seat suits is because I had coaches and mentors, people who impacted in me and guided me all through the path. I am one. So if you're interested, just shoot me an email at info at sojioyawaye.com. 
info at sojioyaoye.com info at sojioyaoye.com or you can also chat me up chats only preferably through the number plus two three four seven zero four three six six seven six zero seven again plus two three four seven zero oh, four three six six seven six zero seven i look forward to seeing you at the top